Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. You will have already seen the brows of this look in a previous video. And if you have not seen that tutorial, I will have that linked somewhere on the screen as well as in the description box. But aside from the brows, you will be seeing everything else in this tutorial. Eye makeup, face makeup, and lip. So if you are interested in the products that I used on my face, on how I applied them, then please do keep on watching. So the first thing that I do for any eye look, and sometimes, honestly, I just do this and nothing else on my eyes, just this and mascara and it's a go, uh, but I take Painterly Paint Pot by MAC as my base. like to deposit the most amount of product on the lid and then the rest go a little bit all the way up to under, right under the brow. You know, everywhere and anywhere I think I'm going to put some eyeshadow. Now that I got Painterly on there, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, medium eye shader brush from Royal and Langnickel. And take a little bit of Liberatus, this pale, pale, almost white, slightly off-white color from the uh, Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Just take a little bit on that shader brush, tap off the excess, and then I'm just going to put that right under my brow. This is just ever so slightly lighter than my skin tone. I like to go all the way along this here. Wunderbrow. 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 I really like to go from the top down. Not always, but for this I'm I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a, a regular shader brush from Royal and Langnickel and I'm gonna take Lazarus. This one right here. And then I'm gonna deposit that into my crease. It's really not that much different from painterly, honestly. It's a little bit a little bit grayer, but a similar tone, so she's just gonna give me a nice transition shade. Because then I'm gonna take that eyeshader brush from that was the highlight color and I'm gonna Bring that down over the transition shade just a little bit. Next, I'm going to start on the lid shades and then I'll go back and do some crease work. I'm going to use this shading brush from Real Techniques. For my lid colors, I'm going to be using two uh, Inglot colors. These are two of their rainbow eyeshadows. Uh, 132R, that one right there, and 133R. I'm going to pick up the lightest color, just the lightest color on that warmer pink. I'm going to put that right in the inner corner and I don't know if you can see it has a really pretty duochrome. It's kind of yellowy, pinky, Gorgeous, basically just gorgeous. I'm actually gonna put this at least halfway over. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna take the lightest color from the second of those and go just right next to it and you let them kind of blend together and you can't, they're really similar in tone. You can almost not even tell the difference. I'm gonna take the middle shade on that, um, on the more berry I'm going to put that right on this outer corner. It's really similar, but just a little bit deeper in tone, but still has that like flash of duochrome. I hope that you can see that because it's so pretty. I'm going to take that darkest color on that berry rainbow trio. I'm going to put that a little bit in my crease. Not as, not nearly as far out as the, uh, as that, that grayish, uh, taupey color, but 
just like that, just like that, just to give a little bit of, well, but a something, something, and then I'm gonna just blend. I'm gonna take that that uh, crease brush I was using earlier and just blend and soften that. I'm probably gonna add a little something a little deeper in the crease in just a minute. Kind of a soft, soft cut crease look, which is honestly one of my favorites. I'm just taking some of that darkest color and like running it almost along the lash line. Just giving kind of like a, more of a V on the outer corner of the light color. Yeah. I'm gonna take actually another, a third of these shader brushes and just take a little bit of a warmer brown from this Kat Von D palette. It's called Latinus. This guy right here. Just a little bit of that. Kind of right in between that like pinky color and the cool tone brown. I'm not, again, not going nearly as high up as the cool tone brown, but it's just a tiny little difference, but can you see it? This is much more cool. That one just has like a tiny amount more warmth to it that really like kind of blends that cool toned crease color, which I do like, I prefer for my skin tone with the slightly warmer, the warmer toned uh, pink berry shadow. Mm, yes. I'm going to take, this was the brush that I used to apply the highlight earlier and take it without any additional product on it first and then, and then with a little additional product just where I want it like a little bit right there I feel like it's a little bit a little bit right in here just calm that down just a touch I like it I'm gonna take just a little bit more of that darkest berry color. Put some in there. Put some in that there crease. Next I'm going to do foundation. I'm going to start with, this is the Tarte uh, Poreless Clean Slate Primer. Mostly this needs to go in the center of my face, so I'll just kind of Blend it out a little bit to other places. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin in 0.5. I really like the way that this applies with my fingers. I think it looks really good. Get some in my hair, because obviously that's what needs to happen. This is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. Do a little bit of that business with this. I'm gonna take this Sigma Precision Round P82 brush and let me buff that in. Make sure to get it around my nose. That's where I get a lot of redness and like take it out here. Whatever's left of my brush and just on my chin and a bit down my nose. I'm seeing if there's any other little places that might need a little extra concealer. Like <laughs> a fuck ton on my neck. I like to take the uh, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Ethereal Light, which is the the very white. Uh, very palest shade and I, I essentially use it as a setting powder I know it's a it's a finishing powder right but yeah I like to use it to set my foundation I usually pounce it all over the face sweep away any excess nose rings back in 
Then I like to take the uh, Real Techniques contour brush, oh I don't think I said that, with the ambient lighting powder I use, the Real Techniques um, multitask brush. I take the Hourglass ambient lighting palette. I'm going to use this middle shade incandescent light as my highlighter. And then for blush, I'm just going to use the Hourglass ambient lighting blush palette. And what I'm going to do is, uh, what I often do is I'm just going to like run my brush down all three of them and use that as my as my blush. It's pretty subtle. I'm very red on my own, so I don't I don't actually like adding a whole lot of blush. <laughs> Back to the eyes. So to finish off the eyes, um, I'm gonna go back into my painterly paint pot. Then using those same Inglot shades, I'm gonna start with the lightest color. And then pick up some of that middle color. I did the lightest color about across about half the lid, and then this one goes from about halfway to about three quarters of the way. And then taking that darkest color right on the outside, and then flicking it up to meet that color in the crease. And I was just using the same brush. This is the Real Techniques accent brush. And I'm going to take the uh, Stila Smudge Stick in Alpine, their, their white smudge stick. Place that in the waterline. For eyeliner, I'm just going to use the, this is a little mini of the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. I'm going to take a little bit of this shadow from Inglot. It's the uh, AMC eyeshadow number 74. And on this this accent brush from earlier that I was using under the eye. I'm just going to add a touch of depth. It is shimmery, but the base is matte, so I'm going to add a little bit. Just the smallest amount. Right there in the crease. because I was looking at this and well although I liked it I just want it to be a little bit deeper I'm gonna take that fluffy crease brush from earlier and just blend that out now lastly I'm going to take a, a pigment that is unfortunately discontinued but I know that there's a uh, Makeup Geek color that's very similar to this. A beautiful duochrome, like white with a little bit of pink. And I'm just going to put that right here. It's right in that, that inner corner. Last but certainly not least, some mascara. Now for lips, you could really do any color that you want. I'm gonna go with a liquid lipstick that I just got from Ciate, uh, which is one of their Ciate London liquid velvets, and this is in the color Envy. So there you have it. That's the completed look for you today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you liked me, like what I have to say and want to see more of me then please do subscribe to my channel. It is new, just starting out and I'm looking forward to 
providing many more videos in the uh, in the days and weeks and months and years to come. So thank you so much, and this is me signing off and just reminding you that there is so much to be grateful for.